You can be part of a winning team no matter who plays in the big game. We're going to join My24 and CW18 as we tackle hunger. This national grassroots effort helps raise money and resources for food banks, meal programs, and other hunger-related activities. Here in Milwaukee, we are partnering with two organizations, Guest House of Milwaukee and City on a Hill. It's easy to help. For the next few minutes, you'll see a QR code on the screen. Just scan it with your phone to donate. You can also find a donation link on our websites. Earlier, we talked to Interim Chief Executive Officer of Guest House, Stephen Bauer. We started the conversation learning exactly who Guest House helps. Stephen, we are excited about our partnership. Thanks for joining us. No problem. Thank you for the partnership. It's great. For those who may not be familiar with Guest House of Milwaukee and the work that you do, tell us a little bit about it. Yeah, Guest House is primarily a housing organization. We have programs to help people find stable uh, housing, uh, all the way from emergency shelter to permanent uh, individual homes uh, and housing. We manage over 400 leases across the uh, greater Milwaukee County area, as well as have shelter space for about 86 uh, gentlemen uh, in the program. So our shelters for men only, but our housing programs uh, support everybody. When individuals come to Guest House, they receive more than just a place to stay and even a, a warm meal. What are some of the other services that you offer to help people get back on their feet? Sure. Uh, so everybody that comes to Guest House as a client gets assigned a case manager. Uh, we very much believe that there's so many different aspects of challenge that people face uh, when they're facing homelessness that we need to have a more comprehensive approach than just giving them a set of keys to a place. Uh, so every guest, we call them guests, are given a, uh, a case manager, assigned a case manager, and that case manager is really focused on wraparound services, doing an assessment of the client understanding their needs, their history, where they've been, and then connecting them to the right kind of resources, either inside guest house, the services that we provide, or outside of guest house. That could be mental health support. That could be uh, job uh, support, um, credit support. We, we offer services to help clear credit for individuals so that, that can let, be a less of a barrier to housing. Um, anything that that individual needs to, to get into stable housing and to get into permanent housing, we try to do for them and with them as part of the program. So it's it's not just a place to stay. We really do focus on trying to walk people all the way from uh, where they are to permanent supportive housing. A series of approaches to reach and to help folks with what are sometimes really complex problems that kind of layer on themselves for and folks to be in the situation that they're in. For sure, for sure. Because it's never just one thing. It's usually a combination of things, either um, out of, you know, un unexpected medical bills that, that completely destroy uh, sort of a, a family's uh, sort of finances or uh, incarceration, you know, other engagements with criminal justice. Um, you know, mo uh, the guest house is one of Milwaukee's very few, if not the only low barrier shelter, meaning that uh, we help any and everybody that come to comes to us that can self-care. So we really are uh, trying to wrap our arms around the community and wrap our arms around Milwaukee to make sure that everybody's got a safe, warm, and predictable place to sleep. And that's one of the things you do as well, particularly when we look at this time of the year. You are also a warming shelter where people can come when the elements are like they have been over the past couple of weeks. Yeah. We've partnered with uh, the city of Milwaukee, the county of Mo Milwaukee, and a number of other shelters uh, who are all part of the continuum of care, a larger network of shelters in the Milwaukee area, uh, to provide warming. Uh, our goal was to provide at least 200 beds a night across uh, across the city. And, um, and Guest House ourselves, we house between anywhere between 40 to 50, maybe even a little bit more, uh, every night for individuals trying to seek a warm place to sleep, especially given uh, last week's cold snap and the snow. Um, everybody was over capacity uh, during those days. And so, um, you know, we took in as many folks as we could uh, to make sure that they were safe at night and weren't uh, facing the elements alone, giving them a meal, place to sleep, a place to kind of recoup, uh, and then support as they, you know, they walked out the next morning. 
Let's talk a little bit about the the meal and, and food portion of the services and support that you provide for guests. What types of things do you provide along those those lines for, for folks when they're there? Sure. For our, our main shelter, uh, the again, our shelter is just for men. Uh, the rest of our programming for the apartments and things like that is for is for everyone. But for the, the shelter itself, which consists uh, like I said, right now, because of warming, about 60 beds uh, a night that include regular shelter uh, gentlemen, but also uh, we have a program with the Veterans Administration to provide shelter housing for vets uh, here in Milwaukee as well. Um, those folks all get a hot meal uh, for dinner as well as snacks and sort of continental breakfasts in the morning. Um, here at the guest house, we have no budget for food. All of the food that we provide to our guests um is donated by volunteers and prepared by volunteers, whether that be church groups or uh, a lot of times work groups will get together and provide uh, meals. They'll they'll either you know make it off site, bring it on site, and serve it to the guys each night, or we even have we have a full kitchen so they can come here and actually prepare the meal here. But every night we're feeding uh, in the shelter, you know, upwards of 60, 65 uh, guys. Uh, through the warming, the warming center is that food comes through the city and is paid for by the city. Um, and, uh, you know, we consist of a, a bag dinner plus snacks and obviously water throughout the night. And then uh, kind of a to-go bag with breakfast items in it in the morning. So we're, uh, we know that folks can't start to feel safe if they're hungry. And so it's important for us uh, to make sure that folks are getting uh, at least the, very, you know, the bare minimum, if not even a little bit more um you know, when they come to guest house and are a part of our programs. We've been very fortunate uh, over the past uh, few years uh, to, to be the recipient of a number of different uh, larger donations from local restaurants and uh, other sort of food-related organizations. Um, so our guys never go hungry, which is great. Um, I wish we could say that for the rest of everybody, you know, in the area. How do people connect with you if they want to help, either through donations, through a church group or some kind of a, a civic or social group, um, and also to make donations of, of, of dollars? Sure. Well, the easiest way to make financial contributions is just through our website, uh, guesthouseofmilwaukee.org. Uh, there's a place on there to go and donate uh, and very easily uh, contribute to the organization. If you're interested in volunteering with the organization, either through uh, providing meals or helping sort through our donation center, or not now, but during the spring and summer, during the community garden that we have across the street, uh, we very much welcome uh, groups to that. And, uh, Christine Jacobs is our volunteer engagement coordinator, uh, and you can find her information on our website as well, but she'd be the one to talk to if you want to donate food, time, resources, anything like that. She's definitely... Uh, cool. keeps everything moving around here pretty well. Stephen, thanks so much. As you, as you said, um, if we want people to be healthy and get healthy and get to better places in their lives, they can't be hungry. Thanks right. for the work right. you do. Oh, I guess it's, it's great to be a part of the Milwaukee community and, and do this for it. Um, eventually, I'd love to not have a job, right? Uh, so that Because that would mean that everybody was uh, had had the food they needed and the housing they, they required to, to, to be safe and healthy. Uh, but until then, we're going to keep on feeding folks and we're going to keep on committing to the community. Thank you. And until then, we thank you for the work you do. Take care. Thank you. Thanks for watching. And please join us as we tackle hunger. Be well, and we'll see you next time.